So I know I usually only do new number ones now when it comes to these short reviews, but Batman 118 is basically a new number one with this new creative team and everything, so I figured I'd do it anyway. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, Batman 118 is emblematic of both the successes and failings of Batman as a character these last few years. Many people in the DC Universe and the fan base wants him to grow as a character, to be a bit warmer, to be a human being more often. But for some reason, DC refuses to let this happen. Batman 118 feels like it's in a tug of war. It teases that Batman should be able to be a superhero and be happy, then it remembers that this is a Batman book. But when that happens, it interrupts a touching story about Batman patrolling a celebratory Gotham City with the murder that takes him out of the country. The premise is interesting, don't get me wrong. Bringing back Batman Incorporated and some of his beloved characters for a murder mystery is pretty cool. It just feels like it could have happened an issue later. So, while the story is haphazard and stops itself before its best moments, it's still an enjoyable comic that teases something new. I'm excited to see the new creative team take the reins, but their first issue didn't have to jump into a new story arc so fast. Something I do want to point out is how Joshua Williamson, who is writing Robin, Justice League Incarnate, Deathstroke Inc., and now Batman. He does well with empathetic characters and down-to-earth sensibilities. That's why I don't love his Deathstroke, but he can bring something to Batman that the character in the series needs. I just wish Batman 118 was a better example of it. Of all the series Joshua Williamson is writing for, which one do you think is your favorite so far? I truly think that it could be Batman if given the chance.